Do you go to build a website and then this happens? No matter if you're building a website for yourself or this is your 50th site for a client, coming up with new ideas can be a challenge. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you seven website layouts which are totally on trend, so your website will be the talk of the town. Let's get into it. Okay, so this first section here is perfect for the top banner hero area of a homepage. So we have some images in a really creative way. Typically back in the day, you would find it was like just one image across the entire banner area. And that was a typical thing. And maybe you put a white box over it with some text, but this is a little bit more modern, more trendy. We have some images, they're kind of unaligned on the page. And then we have an overlapping bit where we have our text. We have our header, little bit of text to explain exactly what it is, what we do, that sort of thing. And then we have our call to action. So this is a really beautiful design. Again, perfect for the top area of a homepage. And then next I have a second alternative homepage design for you. So this one, we are making use of a beige background, which is very on trend right now. I'm noticing a lot of websites which are not doing the typical white background anymore, but they have some sort of actually base color. It's a bit harder to pull off, not suggested if you're brand new to website design, but if you have a bit of experience with website design, it can look amazing if you basically just have the entire background of your website as a different color. So we have the beige background on the left. We have an image on the right. Go to the full width of the page. We have another image overlaying that one and then some text which crosses over our image, a bit more like a variety of headings, and then again, our call to action. So this is beautiful. It follows our best practice in that our eyes automatically go from left to right on the page. So this meets that perfectly. We have again, a variety of different like visual interesting bits happening here. And then also some really clear text and call to action. So this is perfect. By the way, if you're struggling to figure out what exactly you should put on your homepage and what copy you should write, then my homepage content planner will help massively. I'll put a link to that above and then also in the description below for you too. Next up, I have here what I would envision to be a section. It could be on the homepage, could be on the about page. So we have meet and then the name of the business. I have some images of some ladies there. I imagine that these are women working at Celine Creative. The text is just slightly overlapping with the background section, which I think looks fantastic. We have a bit of header text and then we have our paragraph of text. So this is also a perfect design for if there's a section on your page where you need a bit more text, I find oftentimes templates and like examples and everything, they don't tend to have that much space for text. Whereas this one is really great. It's still visually interesting and it's not just like wall to wall boring text or anything, but it's a really beautiful way of doing it. And of course, if you wanted to make use of this design for a section other than like an about area, you could obviously change the meets link creative to whatever it is you wanna talk about in that section. Next, this is another fantastic section design for again, a space on the page, which might need a bit more text or explaining. So this one, we have our header. We have a variety of different images. You'll notice the images, which I chose, they all have a similar style and vibe and colorway. So they all kind of feel feel like they fit together. Now I do have the text overlapping the image at the very bottom there, but I've been very conscious when I designed this to make sure that that image had white space in the area or that there was still enough contrast so you could still read the text that's going over top of it. And also it's not overlapping too much. If it went the whole way into that image, it would be very hard to read. I find that this style here right now, having a variety of different images, completely unaligned, just kind of like dropped and sprinkled over the page. Also images in a variety of different dimensions. So this is not just like a bunch of square images or a bunch of vertical ratio images or anything. It has a wide variety of style here. And so I feel like this is again, a fantastic design for when you wanna fit a good amount of text on a section. Next up, I'm imagining on your homepage, you might wanna list out the variety of different services that you have so people can then click in to learn more about that service. So I have some very big, bold, beautiful text at the top. I'm really noticing that that's a trend right now is some really stand out large, like overly large text on a page. It looks beautiful. Then I have three images. I have cropped these all to a similar shape. I've used the shape tool in Squarespace to make this happen. Then I overlaid a button. So it's going a bit over top of the bottom of the image. Again, it doesn't cover up any important aspect of the image. It's very easy to read. So this is fantastic. And then I have a little bit of text at the bottom of each one to sort of give a little descriptor of that service. And then we have the buttons. I would obviously name this something different than service one, service two, service three, but whatever the name of your service is, that would be perfect 
to put there. Now this is another idea for how you could describe your different services maybe on your homepage and then have people click into the different areas of your website. So we just have two overlapping images happening here on the right hand side. We have a large bit of heading text, we have a bit of description text, and then we have our shop this, shop that, shop the third thing. So basically three buttons which give calls to action. So maybe you have like shop templates, shop courses. I guess you couldn't use book a consultation because that would be too long, but it could be like consultations or one-to-one -one consultation, that could work. You wanna make sure that your text is of a similar length for all of your buttons so that they look good together. So again, this is another beautiful way, very simplistic, but honestly, sometimes people really overkill it when it comes to website design. And so I think that this is a fantastic way to lay out three services on a homepage as well. And then the final section design, this one, again, I was imagining as a way to show three different services. So what I have here is a large, very, abstract sort of background image and I've also lightened it up from the original image actually. This is perfect for if each service needs a bit of a longer description, this would be a perfect design to make that happen. So I have option one, option two, option three. In the header text, I would suggest naming like whatever the package is. Then you would give the details of the actual service and then learn more. I would probably change that actual text on the call to action to be something more appropriate to whatever needs to happen next. So maybe that's potentially book a consultation call or get started or book now or whatever you think that thing is. Alternatively, if if it does need more of a description, you could do something like learn more. So this again is another fantastic way to lay out multiple services. So I hope the three different designs for the services area gives you some ideas of the different ways that you could design the section to fit however much content you have for that section. Now, even though you have some inspiration, you still might not be successful in putting together a site if you don't know the web design best practices that you should follow. So watch this video next where I will walk you through a site redesign project. I will show you the before and the after of the website and explain exactly what decisions I made and why.